Hey everybody and welcome back to Droops Vids and today I'm going to show you my recent Figma pickup, a couple letters in the mail, and a mystery box from Tomar Toys. That's right folks, we're back with another video and another Figma pickup. And I actually saw this Figma when I was at the con, at Galaxy Con. I'll leave a little thing up here if you guys haven't seen that yet, or it might be up here and down in the description below. So check that video out, some pretty awesome stuff there. But as usual with cons, I felt like I could get it a little bit cheaper here locally, especially since I did have some store credit and I went over to Cool Stuff, lo and behold, they had the Figma I was looking for. And that is Mako hair from Kill a Kill. And yeah, I was kind of upset because I didn't pre-order it because I wasn't quite sure if I wanted it. And then Satsuki went up for re-release and I was like, all right, definitely gotta go pick up Mako and then we're gonna get a Ryoko and call it a day right there. So yeah, if you guys didn't know Mako, I'm not gonna try to ruin it too much for you if you haven't watched Kill a Kill, but Mako is this super awesome comic relief. And yeah, basically she'll make light of all these really bad situations that happen. It's just hilarious to watch. And there's some other things that happen later on in the show, but yeah, definitely don't want to ruin it for you guys. Check it out. Kill a Kill is also one of my all-time favorites. And now I'm super happy that Satsuki went up for re-release and there'll be a picture up here of her. This is her and her Junketsu. So yeah, we'll definitely get into all that when I get the Figma, which is slated to release in August. So when I do the review on that, I'll probably do it really quick after I get it because I really want to open it up because I've been actually wanting to pick that one up for a while now but original ones you see go for you know in excess of 120 bucks 130 bucks even 150 so yeah I'm glad I waited now pulling the trigger on a Ryoko it's gonna be much easier I'm just not sure if I want to wait for a re-release right now or not I might just go ahead and do it all right so let's go ahead and get into a couple of the letters here so the first one we got is actually from OPAE. If you guys don't know, official popping in easy. Awesome guy. I talked to him on Instagram quite a bit. He's like the ultimate grail collector for Funko Pop. So if you guys haven't watched his channel, definitely check him out. I'll leave a link in the description below to him. So yeah, go ahead and see what he's all about. If you guys like Funko Pops and especially grails and grail pickups, yeah, you'll like the channel. And it looks like we got some of his stickers here. So that is awesome. So the first one we got here is official popping in easy. As Indiana Jones, man, that is dope. Even the font got that spot on. That looks really cool. And then this next one here, I think this, yeah, this looks like Jim Carrey from Ace Ventura. So yeah, if you guys see that there, that is pretty dope too. He has a little card that has his logo on there. That is awesome. And the last one we have here is actually one of the things that he always says in his videos and you know on his Instagram posts and stuff is no hogwash because you know he gets all these higher end grails. So yeah, definitely dope. And all these stickers are actually going to be going on my door, as you guys saw in the studio tour reveal. So shout out to Official Poppin' and Easy, I really appreciate the stickers. So next up, we're going to get into this next one here, which is from Weird Flex. And man, Weird Flex is cool. I like watching his videos. He does a bunch of pop reviews and stuff like that. He gets anime pops, Marvel pops, a ton of different pops. So if you guys just like Funko Pop content, definitely check him out. Really awesome dude. And I have a feeling I may have more stickers in here, which would be great because I really need to get a lot of the stickers back that I had that I lost when I moved. So yeah, that's exactly what we got here. It looks like we got two different ones. So yeah, we got both of the stickers here, which is dope. So that's Weird Flex right there. And one is in black logo print and the other one is a white print, which looks dope, man. These are really cool. Kind of like the one with the black print better. It just kind of, I don't know, I feel like it flows better. I don't know, maybe the white one looks good too. I just feel like the green around the letters here on the black print pops a lot more. Definitely like that one, so I'll be putting that one up. But you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one up too on the door, so might as well do it. So shout out to Weird Flex, link in the description below to his channel, definitely check him out guys. So next up here, we got our mystery box, and this is from Tomar Toys. If you guys don't know who Tomar Toys is, go on Instagram, give him a follow, check him out. He's the one that made my super awesome logo. Wait. No, not that one. This one. The new logo. Yeah, I, I don't even watch Sailor Moon. I mean, come on, guys. But So he said he was sending me something. I had no idea what it was going to be. So it's a mystery box to me, and I'm pretty jazzed about it. You know, like I said, guys, go over on Instagram. Hit up Tomar Toys. Give him a follow. If you guys are looking for logo work, definitely hit him up. He does commissions, and he does a fantastic job. Don't know if you guys could tell, but yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get into this mystery box super excited for this I really wonder what it could be all right i wonder if he packed it like a certain way because he does know i opened the boxes from the bottom but yeah let's go ahead oh <laughs> i already see something in here wow this is kind of uh very anime-esque and there's actually a funko pop in there 
So yeah, I actually I think I know what this is because I remember he made a custom of this particular pot, but we'll get in that to a sec. Let's go ahead and see everything in here. So first of all, we got this is like one of them little scallion things that uh, the far-fetched Pokemon carries around. And there's something I don't know what it does. Is there something in here? I don't know. It's, if it's supposed to do something, there's like like a hard thing inside. If it is, then I have no idea what it does. But yeah, we got this. I don't know the exact name of it. If you guys do know, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, this is like that little thing that the Farfetch Pokemon carries around. Put a picture up here of it so you guys could tell. But yeah, this is very interesting. Oh man, so next up in here is we got a super sweet lanyard. You guys know I like lanyards. I've got a ton of lanyards. And I'm actually kind of thinking of where to set them up. Because I didn't set them up yet. I kind of just have them all in a little box. But yeah, I definitely need to add some lanyards somewhere in this room. But eventually. Okay, so this is pretty dope actually i like the size of this lanyard this is cool so this is a hatsune miku lanyard and let's see if i do this right show you all the characters here on it so yeah we got all these characters from hatsune miku and you know i'm not a huge fan of hatsune miku but i do know of her if you collect anything anime related or you know even figure related you're gonna hear of hatsune miku which is like this crazy like ai singer that they made so it's completely computer generated and fake, but they do like live concerts and stuff. It's pretty nuts if you watch any of them. And then we have the little badge holder there, which is pretty dope as well. So yeah, definitely like the art on this. This is kind of cool. And Tokidoki, it, I believe is like that stuff that they're doing with some of the My Hero stuff, or is that Sanrio? I don't even remember right now, but yeah, this is pretty dope. You know what? Actually, I think I might do the lanyards on the back of the door too. So that way I got all the lanyards and stickers up there. Yeah, let's do that. I think that'd be dope. Oh, this is the box that just keeps giving. So, okay, this looks like a little art print here, which is pretty cool. I don't exactly know who this is though. But yeah, this art print is super awesome. Definitely like that, that's really cool. And I'll probably be putting that up somewhere. I noticed I had like a blank space like right back here on the wall. So I'm gonna figure out something to do with that over there. This may be a part of it. That is super cool. Of course, we got a cool sticker. Nice, another one for the door there. Fun Collector Society, Tomar Toys. Like I said, you guys go check them out on Instagram. That is a dope sticker. And if you know the character Tomar from Green Lantern Corps, then you know. If you don't, you don't. It's all good. And oh, you know what? There's actually a letter in here underneath his pop. Let's go ahead and get that. See, so he packed it like a normal person would open it. And you know, me being abnormal, I open everything from the bottom. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this letter out. Probably should have read that first. <laughs> so he drew, he drew some art on here, which is pretty fun. I'm gonna show you that real quick. So he has this little face up there and then we got some eyes down there. So yeah, definitely pretty funny. But the letter says, yo Droops, put together this little weeb care package for you. Just as a small thanks for being such a cool guy and always being around when I need someone to talk about weeby shit with. Man, right in the fields. You know how to do it, right? So <laughs> it says, hope you enjoy the stuff, half of which I have no idea what it is. Tomar Toys, Jeff. Then it goes on and says, P.S. Sorry if you had the trouble reading this. You should be used to it by now. <laughs> that's funny because that's kind of an inside joke between us. So the last item in this box is a pop. You guys know, I haven't been picking up very many pops recently, but now that I have one here, we're gonna check this out because I have a good feeling that this is actually the custom version that he made of Eto from Tokyo Ghoul. And if it is, yes, it actually is. Oh, and it has the OG sticker on there because he actually used to be going by the name of Straight Poppin' Customs and then he changed it over to Tomar Toys. This actually looks really cool. It's like metallic and I wanna say this one glows in a dark too, but we're gonna go ahead and take it out the box, get a closer look, see how that glow looks as well. This is actually the first Tomar Toys custom or straight popping custom, which is, that's actually a pretty nice sticker there too. Too bad it doesn't have the new one, I'm just saying. But yeah, I remember when he made this custom, it was super awesome. I was really excited about it. So just kind of looking at it right now, it has like this, this nice sheen to it, kind of metallic-esque, really dope, that's cool. So go ahead and take a look at Edo there. And this was actually my number one pop from New York Comic Con 2018. And you know, it still is actually one of my favorite pops in my collection. Definitely like this one. And it's probably one I'm not going to be letting go. 
along with this variant i will be keeping the original one this is awesome you know i'll go ahead and put up some pictures up here of the glow man this thing is really really cool man i don't know what to say this is great man i really appreciate you sending this my way but yeah this is pretty cool you know this is the first time i've been excited for a pop in a while and it's funny because you know he customized it and there's no paint defects or anything on there he actually made it look a lot better than the original man that is dope so there you have it folks that was the mystery box from tomar toys a couple letters open up from the mail weird flex opae shout out to all them guys links are going to be in the description below definitely check them out yeah that's going to wrap it up for the video guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next video It takes a little time for it to show up. I'm fed.